more compact than anything out there that I've seen in this size in 100 amps, lighter than anything that I've seen in this size in 100 amps. Red Arc just continue uh, to pave the way for 12 volt systems uh, around the world. What's up guys, welcome back to loading up in the brand new, uh, I suppose, race shed slash build shed um, for Patriot Games. Been a little while um, since we've done a loading up video and a lot of new products have hit the market. We're gonna kick off the new series with, I think probably, not probably, I think this is the most exciting product that I've seen come out of Australia in, in probably 12 months. Everybody knows our association with Red Arc. We've been with Red Arc from day one uh, of Patriot Campers and even the builds that you see on Patriot Games. And there's a couple of really good reasons for it. I've harped on it in other videos before. Number one, uh, Red Arc is part of the extended family of uh, Patriot Campers. We have a very, very, very tight relationship with those guys and we have from day one. The first Patriot Camper ever built was rocking all the Red Arc gear. And Red Arc just continue to innovate uh, the entire industry. Now, obviously we've been uh, pushing into the United States pretty hard over the past five years. And uh, personally, I've watched Red Arc grow in the US. One of the big missing keys to overlanding, or touring as we call it here in Australia, was always electronics in the United States. And Red Arc have really brought some education into the US market. And it's uh, amazing for me as an Australian manufacturer also, to see Red Arc dominating the space in the United States. Right here in front of me is the brand new Manager Alpha from Red Arc. Now, if, if you're familiar with the Red Arc products, you'd know that we've been running uh, the Manager, or the, it was the BMS 15, a 15 amp charger, was the first charger that we ever put into a Patriot camper. And the staple item still for the X-Range is the Manager 30, which is a 30 amp charger. So you can get 30 amps into whatever you're powering uh, from DC power, but also from AC. What we've seen in the industry happening over, I would say really the past five, five years is the demands that people are putting onto power requirements when it comes to touring, camping, and I'm probably gonna touch more specifically on caravanning in this video. Patriot Campers promotes off-the-grid touring. So off-the-grid, we rely on DC power. DC power is predominantly, for us, for Patriot Campers, is solar input or through an Anderson plug charging off your vehicle. When I refer to AC power, I'm refer referring to shore power. So either if you're at a caravan park, when you plug your RV, caravan, camper trailer or truck into the wall, or whether you're running off a generator. Now, when you're in that situation, you have the ability to pull as many amps as you can out of whether you're on 240 or 110 volt. I won't go into the actual electronics uh, specifics. When you're on DC power, you're limited on pulling in less amps. Now getting back to the Manager 30, like I said before, the Manager 30 is a 30 amp charger. The new Alpha comes in three variations, and this is the biggest thing with the Alpha. It comes in a 50 amp variation, a 75 amp variation, and a 100 amp variation. Now what that means is you can put more power into your caravan uh, than any than what you would ever require. So if you've got a big caravan RV, you're running air conditioning, you're running TVs, you're running an air fryer, you're, your missus is running the hair straight, now all the rest of it, that's where you need that big uh, power input because you're pulling that amount of power out. So having the ability to put 100 amps consistently of charge into your vehicle or whatever product that you're using is a huge advantage when it comes to that bigger stuff. Once again, Patriot Campers, we promote DC. We promote off the grid. What we say to our customers, if you're in a Patriot Camper and you have the ability to plug into shore power, you've bought the wrong product. That's really fundamentally where we're at with the whole thing. Now, let me switch over to the 12 volt stuff. Let me switch over to the DC stuff. 50 amps ability to put 50 amps, which is what I think majority of our customers will probably go with when we start introducing this into the model range means you don't have to change your Anderson plug. You can run a 6 BNS cable, um, which everybody has fitted as standard. Majority of Anderson plugs that you see on the back of your tow vehicles are rated at 50 amps. If you want the ability to put DC in of 75 and 100 amps, then you need a pretty substantial upgrade to your vehicle. 
You're gonna have to go with really big cables and you're gonna have to go with a big up to 100 amp uh, Anderson plug. So that's something to consider when you're looking at the DC side. But you need to keep in mind what is the actual power output of your alternator. You might not need to put 75 or 100 amps. Your, your, your vehicle might not be able to do it and you might not have enough solar capacity to do it. So when you're choosing your alpha system, consider that. Do I need 100 amps consistently from shore power? If you do, that's fine. And you can still use your 50 amp Anderson plug, but you'll only get a maximum of 50 amps going in through your DC charge. If you don't feel like you need that much power, you can come down to 75 amps, or you can come down to 50 amps. So that's really the first choice to make. But once again, Red Arc are really leading the way. Um, with all of these systems that they're developing right here in Australia and just touching on the testing, I've been to Red Arc, I've seen it myself. These things are tested down to minus 20 degrees and up to 60 degrees Celsius. So in the US market, you guys can convert that to Fahrenheit. That's hotter than Nevada and probably colder than Alaska, yeah? Somewhere in between. Winterization is a really big thing in the US and we know that from all of our customers over there. So there's some really uh, big things to consider. Let's get this box open. I'll, I'll run you through the unit. We're not gonna dive too deep into the real tech on how to wire it. That's not what this video is all about. And once again, I'm the first person to say that you do not want electrical advice from me because I've employed people that know how to do that sort of stuff. All right, let's take a look at what's inside the box. It's actually the first time I've opened one. Um, so in this little carton here, we have power cable. So that's the AC cable, AC. Australia, obviously for the US, you get a US variation of that. In this box here, we're going to get Red Vision. I'll talk about that in a sec. That's actually your controller for the entire system. So we'll go through that very quickly. Inside this box here, we're going to get some sort of Ethernet cable and a connection to the shunt. Let's have a look at what's in here. Australian made too guys, which is um, super, super exciting. Look at that. We might actually put a, um, let's put an image up right now of the old Manager 30. And I suppose it's, um, you can't stop progress, right? That is just a beautiful um, looking bit of kit. It's a pity that most people actually hide them. So the unit is very, uh, very, very compact, very lightweight. Now for a 100 amp charger, same chassis too, by the way. So if you select the option of a 50, a 75, or a 100 amp charge, the box is exactly the same. The mounting is identical. It's a little bit deeper, um, or a little bit taller, I should say, than a Manager 30. It's definitely a lot narrower, and to me, it looks um, pretty much about the same length, or close to the same length. All right, so there's your connections in there. Um, there's a couple of RJ45 connections and this is your, your input for your AC. So again, I'm not gonna talk about how do you connect this thing, but what I will, will quickly talk about is how the system kind of works and a couple of the other features of it. A really smart feature, something that these guys have developed is it's got like a smart charge mode for your start battery as well. So you can wire the, the new Alpha directly to your start battery and what'll happen is you can set it into a mode where you can put in its, I think they call it a smart charge mode or something along those lines. You can put into a mode when your house battery gets topped up, it'll start sending 25 amps of solar power directly to your start battery. So it'll keep your start battery topped up. Now, I'm assuming that you can actually go in and manually set that. So let's say, for example, your battery goes flat in your vehicle, you can jump into the Red Vision screen, tell it to send the solar power directly to the start battery, it'll uh, regenerate your start battery, and you're off again. So me personally, I've, I've kind of gone away from auxiliary batteries. I run the Red Arc Go block in absolutely everything that I have now, so it kind of negates the fact to have that. Um, so you can save a little bit of cost there. Now with the Red Vision screen, uh, you obviously have the ability, it's got built-in Bluetooth here as well. 
So everything that runs through the shunt, your current drawers, what's coming in and what's going out is all managed through this screen here. So you can see your power inputs, your outputs, and still from day one, my favorite thing about the Red Arc uh, controller is showing your state of charge in percentage, right? So when the screen's lit up, you've got everything turned on, screen will come up and it'll say 67% and you have two days, three days, four hours, whatever you have until your battery run flat. You know when you need to replenish uh, your charge. So the simplicity of the Red Vision system, the other thing with uh, Red Vision, and I suppose all the Red Arc products is the support that they have Australia and America wide now. America has a very, very strong uh, team uh, when it comes to the Red Arc products. And still we get from our Patriot Campus customers, you know, you can ring the support center at Red Arc in Australia uh, anytime and pretty much whoever answers the phone will answer your questions on any technical advice that you have. And that's something for me as another business owner um, that culturally instilled into Red Arc down there with the size that that company is now. It's still absolutely amazing. We get that comment from our customers all of the time. So if you're looking at charging caravan, RV, canopy system, anything that comes to 12 volt power requirements, made in Australia, tested in Australia for worldwide con uh, conditions, globally supported, more compact than anything out there that I've seen in this size in 100 amps, lighter than anything that I've seen in this size in 100 amps. Red Arc just continue uh, to, to pave the way for 12 volt systems uh, around the world. So that's about it for the uh, manager. Alpha, 50 amp, 75 amp, 100 amp, contact a Red Arc distributor. Have a talk to those guys about your application uh, and which system might suit you. It's Friday afternoon. I'm gonna finish loading up and I'm out of here.